Cyclopropenylidine, or CC3H2, is an aromatic molecule belonging to a highly reactive class of organic molecules known as carbenes. Due to its reactivity, cyclopropenylidine is only seen terrestrially in the laboratory. However, it is found in significant concentrations in the interstellar medium due to the extreme environment. The linear isomer of CC3H2 is also found in the ism, but its column density is generally about an order of magnitude lower. History The astronomical detection of CC3H2 was first confirmed in 1985. Four years earlier, several ambiguous lines had been observed in the radio region of spectra taken of the ism, but the observed lines were not identified at the time. These lines were later matched with a spectrum of CC3H2 using an acetylene helium discharge. Surprisingly, CC3H2 has been found to be ubiquitous in the ism. Detections of CC3H2 in the diffuse medium were particularly surprising because of the low densities. It had been believed that the chemistry of the diffuse medium did not allow for the formation of larger molecules, but this discovery, as well as the discovery of other large molecules, continue to illuminate the complexity of the diffuse medium. More recently, observations of CC3H2 in dense clouds have also found concentrations that are significantly higher than expected. This has led to the hypothesis that the photodissociation of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons enhances the formation of CC3H2. Formation The major formation reaction of CC3H2 is the dissociative recombination of CC3H3+, C3H3++ E- C3H2+, HCC3H3+, is a product of a long chain of carbon chemistry that occurs in the ism. Carbon insertion reactions are crucial in this chain for forming C3H3+. The protonation of NH3 by C3H3+, is the second most important formation reaction. However, under typical dense cloud conditions, this reaction contributes less than 1% of the formation of C3H2. Matrix isolated cyclopropenylidine has been prepared by flash vacuum thermolysis of a quadracyclane derivative in 1984. Destruction Cyclopropenylidine is generally destroyed by reactions between ions and neutral molecules. If these protonation reactions are the most common, any species of the type HX plus can react to convert the CC3H2 back to CC3H3 plus. Due to rate constant and concentration considerations, the most important reactants for the destruction of CC3H2 are HCO plus, H3 plus, and H3O plus. C3H2 plus HCO plus C3H3 plus plus CO notice that CC3H2 is mostly destroyed by converting it back to C3H3 plus. Since the major destruction pathways only regenerate the major parent molecule, C3H2 is essentially a dead end in terms of interstellar carbon chemistry. However, in diffuse clouds or in the photodissociation region of dense clouds, the reaction with C plus becomes much more significant and C3H2 can begin to contribute to the formation of larger organic molecules. Spectroscopy Detections of CC3H2 in the ism rely on observations of molecular transitions using rotational spectroscopy. Since CC3H2 is an asymmetric top, the rotational energy levels are split and the spectrum becomes complicated. Also, it should be noticed that C3H2 has spin isomers much like the spin isomers of hydrogen. These ortho and para forms exist in a 3 to 1 ratio and should be thought of as distinct molecules. Although the ortho and para forms look identical chemically, the energy levels are different, meaning that the molecules have different spectroscopic transitions. When observing CC3H2 in the interstellar medium, there are only certain transitions that can be seen. In general, only a few lines are available for use in astronomical detection. 
Many lines are unobservable because they are absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere. The only lines that can be observed are those that fall in the radio window. The more commonly observed lines are the 110 to 101 transition at 18,343 MHz and the 212 to 101 transition at 85,338 MHz of ortho CC3H2.